Hey guys, it's Anne. Welcome to the channel. And today we are going to take a look in on my European Nightcrawler bins. I have two uh, bins here that are made from one 55 gallon barrel, uh, just been cut in half and laid on its side. And for this, we are using the wedge method. And what that means is that we start at one end and progress towards the other end. So we start by putting food and bedding at one end and then leave that to its own devices and then put a little bit more food and bedding and a little bit more food and bedding and then you have the empty end here and as things get digested and composted we kind of scoot everything over to make more room at the leading edge and that's why they call it the wedge method because you're just putting little wedges of stuff bit by bit and slowly scooting it over and making room for the new stuff. Right now in the basement it is 67.4 degrees Fahrenheit with 45 percent relative humidity 19.7 degrees Celsius. All right well let's take a look in on this bin. Okay, we did start putting lids on because it was starting to get a little bit dry down here. You saw that it was only 47% humidity down here. So we're just going to kind of take a look at this um, mostly finished part here. And, you know, it looks like it could actually use a little bit of moisture. So when we're done, we are going to add a little bit more moisture because it is my, my feeling that this is a lot of coconut core and is not completely finished castings. So I'm just going to put that back, kind of looking down a little bit deeper and confirming that yes, it has gotten a little bit too dry. So let me flip you around and we can look at the active side of the spin. Okay, so now we're just going to start going through the progressively newer portions of the bin and see what kind of food that we have left here. So you can see where they're getting into this avocado pit and it starts turning, you know, kind of a off orange reddish color and uh, it's not long for the world when it gets there. So still kind of checking to see what the moisture is in here. And the food looks like it could still use uh, or the bedding still looks like it could use some time here. So, but we're not in a rush. It's uh, New Year's Day here, so it's got more than enough time to finish up before I need the castings, even for, you know, seed starting or anything. So it's got plenty of time, no need to rush it. Okay, now we did feed a lot of pumpkin last time. So I expect that we will start to see a good size worm ball here in a little bit. I think previously, while I was on vacation, um, they did not get a lot of food. The moisture is, is still very good at this part. So we're still seeing reasonably new bedding, cardboard, and uh, so just the older edge seems to be the part that's drying out. All right. So I think we're getting to the part where we might find the last feeding. So it looks like we've got a lot of uh, baby worms. The pumpkin was not frozen, so you can't always expect it to break down super fast if it's not been frozen. But we're getting a worm ball, but not, you know, not 100% as good as you'd like it to be. Um, they're not like the red wigglers where you get an awesome worm ball almost every time you have a feeding. The European night crawlers do tend to be almost equally interested in the bedding. So if we don't get a huge worm ball, then that'll be okay too. They've got enough food in here. Um, but yeah, it looks like no real worm ball here with the, the pumpkin, and you can tell it's definitely squishy. So we'll bury that back up. Um, so if they've got that much food left, then I'm not sure we need to add any more food, even though it's been 20 days. 
but it is winter time so it is possible that they are just kind of slowing down you know because it's under 70 degrees down here but looking at the very far edge here it also looks like it is getting a little bit dry so let me go get some water all right so this water's been here in the basement with the worms so it is the same temperature as as the bin so we're looking at this is a, a two liter container and I've given them almost the entire thing for this portion so let's flip you back around and then get the other side some water as well okay I know that seems like a lot but that is uh, pretty much par for the course this time of year having to add quite a bit of water to keep up with the furnace all right let's go look at the other European nightcrawler bin that has the northeast worms in it uh, if you've watched previous videos I did snag 20 adult worms from this bin in order to start my wild worm bin project so um, in July there was one pound of adult European nightcrawlers in here and I think in six months it's probably grown there's a, a variety of, of worm sizes here now so let me put you down and we'll take a look and see how these guys are doing all right so looking at this finished edge here um, they look to be making castings pretty pretty good now this didn't have as much of the coconut coir as the previous bin we just looked at because these worms were not water harvested they came in the mail in you know paper shreddings and coconut coir so these are actually finished castings that we're seeing here and it is kind of amazing that when you get full grown huge worms like this you know it, it makes sense that you know they really do work faster so some beautiful wormies I doubt we'll get a worm ball on these guys either but I figured I would collect them up so that you could bask in their beauty well, let's keep digging that pineapple that's all that's left of the pineapple at this point we will be finding uh, that they did get a pumpkin feeding here last time so we should be running into that here pretty soon seeing a lot of different sizes of worms so that's good that they're breeding and the moisture in this bin doesn't seem to be as bad as the other one I did add water to this over the course of the last 20 days so maybe that's why it's not quite in such bad condition all right let me flip you around so you can see the food end all right so we should be running into the pumpkin here any moment now there we go seeing a concentration of worms here but again not really a worm ball lots of juvenile worms so that's good they're making babies um, didn't get a worm ball but man look they've eaten almost that entire portion of pumpkin that we gave them and we gave them just as much as we gave the smaller worms so I think this also lends credence to the fact that the larger worms do eat you know even though there's probably less pounds of worms in here they are very very certainly eating more food because we gave them the same amount of pumpkin but that this is all that's left so no worm ball but I am glad to see a good variety of different ages of worms so they're breeding that makes me happy good worms all right well unlike their their smaller counterparts I am going to give them some more food kind of flatten that out a little bit courtesy of CC we have some potatoes not frozen but you can tell they are well on their way to being degraded looks like some ginger gone bad so that should be a pretty good feeding for them 
to incorporate some of these sticks and stems that came from me taking care of the, uh, the plants in the basement here. Kind of get everything covered back up. No, that doesn't smell good. So the worms need to hurry up and eat that before any gnats and flies and everything get into it. So I am going to cover that up. Let me grab them some more bedding as well. Okay, get them a little bit of new bedding. Make sure that that really gross food is completely covered up. All right, well, these bins actually do have their own playlist for the European Nightcrawler only. If you want to learn more about European Nightcrawlers, I do have a playlist that I can put up right now. And then also, if you just want to look at the last video, I can leave a card for that as well. All right, guys, if you like the video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody, have a good day.